Uh, oh my god! Oh, you you ah, can you see her? A little bit. Ah, I'm being attacked by a monster. Bye bye. Hi, beauties. Welcome back. So we're doing our boxy charm unboxing today. Uh, it is a Lux month. It is March, so it is a Lux month. Things are changing though. Not for boxy charm, for our life. Um, so if you guys are with us regularly, you know that I do Ipsy versus Ipsy with my mother's Ipsy. Um, my mom is pissed about Ipsy right now. I'll get into that when I do her Ipsy Plus unboxing. Just hasn't been happy pretty much this whole year. So, and I and for valid reasons. So she's really considering canceling her Ipsy at least plus. She might keep the little bag. I don't think she's gonna keep the X because she did the X as well. I loved my X. She was very disappointed that it didn't come with a bag. She missed the customization for it. So she's like, I didn't even realize I got to choose a bag. I, it was is a lot. We'll get into that when we talk about Ipsy. Because of her frustration, she opted to do BoxyCharm. So she signed up for BoxyCharm. This is her first BoxyCharm month. She didn't do the Lux, she just did the standard. Um, and she did it really because after I discovered the uh, pop-up sale, she wanted access to that. And she was like, it's kind of worth it to just get access to that, which I agree. That's what's gonna happen. What I'm gonna do, there, it, it's not, at least for this box, it's not gonna be the same. I don't really think it's gonna work the same because Ipsy's a little bit more like customized whereas Boxy gives you like, they design boxes and I guess it'll be more of just like seeing if we happen to get the same box or if we get a different version of the box, it'll be a little bit different. So I don't know exactly how this is gonna play out. But for this month, because I have a Lux and a base, it'll be easy. So I'll do my Lux first. We'll go through the price and everything. We'll go through mom's base, go through the price and everything. See like, how do we feel about it? Which one did we like better? Was the Lux worth it more? Was the base fine for this month or that? I don't know, we'll see how it plays out. I'm gonna show you both boxes, that's it. That's it, that's it, that's what's happening. Let's start, we're starting with the plus, I mean the, the luck. We're starting with the big one, cause I wanna know. It's been sitting in my house for like months. So, all right, love the theme, it's lucky. Cause it's St. Patrick's Day, precious. Love this, love this layout, love it. Oh, already, already seeing some cool shit in here. Oh, oh, I'm excited. Okay, first thing I see is a palette. You guys know how I feel about palettes. So I'm gonna open that up first. This is, uh, Barbarella, it looks like, by B Beauty London. I was like, is that the name of the palette or the company? Barbarella, that's what the front looks like. And inside we've got, oh, I love it. I love it, it's beautiful, it's, it's gorgeous. Love it, love the vibe. Oh, yes, yes. Um, only downside that I'm seeing initially is we've only got five matte shades to work with, but there's a lot of gorgeous glitter shades. I think there's a lot of fun stuff you can do with this palette. Um, I do think that I probably would wind up using it in conjunction with another palette that has a little bit more mattes just because the shades that they gave us in there are not necessarily shades that I would wanna use um, fully to make a look, if that makes sense. But yeah, love it, so cute, precious. Next thing, <laughs> next thing we have in here is a Soleil, I guess it's Soleil, a uh, mini heat brush in the shade Apricot. Precious. Uh, we're gonna pull it out. I I laughed because I'm pretty sure I have an entire collection of mini hair styling tools that I've gotten from Boxy Luxes. I know I have a mini hair straightener. I'm pretty sure they sent me a mini curling iron too. No, a mini. They sent me a mini blow dryer. That's what it is. I have a mini blow dryer, a mini straightener, and now I have a mini heat brush. It's so cute. I love it though. I'm not gonna lie. It's adorable. Um, I have a heat brush. I do like it. I don't use it all the time, but I think it's a good way to kind of like get your hair to like. I, a lot of times I like to do it to take the frizz out. The, the one I have has like the ionized plates in it. And so it kind of does a good job of like taking out some of the poofiness of my hair before I go and straighten it. So I like that. And I do think like, I'm like I said, I'm not traveling still, but I, I think it'd be like a nice little thing to throw in a travel bag because my, the thing with my other one is it's really bulky and I don't use it that often. So a lot of times I just wind up leaving it at home. Whereas like this one is, you can kind of justify throwing it in the bag more cause it's just a lot smaller. So cute, definitely a great product. Definitely I think a pricey product. So yeah, loving that, loving it, loving it. All right, next thing we have is something from Dominique Cosmetics. I'm assuming it is some sort of a lip color in the shade Crush. The box is bent and now I can't get out the product. So is it a lip liner? It is a lip liner, it's a lip liner, beautiful color, very neutral. Really pretty. I talked about it in another video, but I'm trying to like start actively. I'm like six months out from when Nikki and I are getting married at our house with like 12 people here, but I still wanna look nice. So I've been like trying to think about what makeup I wanna use. And that would be probably a really nice like neutral color to do for a lipstick for a wedding. So like that, I like that a lot. And I'm a big fan of Dominique Cosmetics. We've seen a lot of really good stuff from them, especially um, coming through BoxyCharm. So excited about that. 
All right, next thing we have is a Plum Plump Hyaluronic Serum from Glow Recipe. Love everything with hyaluronic acid. I've said it before, I'll say it again, love it. Oh, it's so cute. Look at it. It's precious, looks like a little uh, perfume, but it's, yeah, I, yeah. Hyaluronic acid, absolutely. Yeah, send it to me all day, every day. Love it, love to see, I love to see it. I'm already really liking this box. I think it's doing a really good job of like covering a lot of bases. We've gotten a lip product, we've gotten an eyeshadow product, we've gotten a face serum, we've gotten a hairbrush that's, you know, electronic. An electronic hairbrush, that's what it is. Oh, this one is interesting. This one I may try this weekend because I wanna know, I'm, I'm curious. This is from AMNH Skincare. It is Kiss the Stars, a 24 karat gold lip plumping mask. It is very gold. It reminds me of the Peter Thomas Roth uh, 24 karat gold face mask, which I personally love, but when Nikki did the skincare video with me, it made him swell. Like he had a terrible reaction to it. So um, probably not gonna have him use this uh, unless he wants his lips really puffy. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I wanna try this. I wanna see what this is all about. I wanna see, I wanna, maybe I should try it on camera, but also like what happens if like, it looks like I got stung by bees. So maybe I'll try it first off camera and then come back and like show you guys on camera just so I know what to expect. I don't know, I'm excited about that. That's like a, that's a, that's a different product. That's, a, that's an interesting one in my opinion. Next thing we have is from Eloise Beauty, which we got a really, sorry. I was, I didn't know what to expect. I'm into it, hold on. We saw some stuff from Eloise Beauty. We got a really beautiful palette from them. Very, gave me very Juvia's Place vibes um, a couple months ago, just in a base box. Uh, I really like that palette. Did a gorgeous look with it, big fan of it. Um, so this, <laughs> this is what the box looks like, right? I was like, what is it? And I kind of read brush and then I opened it up and I saw this and I am obsessed. I don't even care if I use this brush or not because I don't really use face brushes, I use Oh my God, it is so cool. It, that is so cool. That could be kinky. Just saying, just saying. Look, look at this brush. I said that could be kinky. Did it, ah, yeah. But isn't it cool? All right, stop making that face. You're making it weird now. All right, two more products, two more. And then we got mom's box. That's gonna require a lot of unwrapping. This is from my Daily Dose of Glow. This is an, a, an Illuminate and Brightening, I guess it's just a glow serum. This is a cocktail of chlorella, vitamin A, and hyaluronic acid. Oh yes, they keep giving us lots of hyaluronic acid stuff and I'm for it. I'm here for it. Cute, not tried the brand, I don't think. Skin inks, maybe I have. Sounds familiar, I don't recall. At this point, send me any kind of skincare. I'm getting old, I need to, I need to, adversely, I need to come in, I need to come in hot. I got anything, anything I can do to keep myself from looking crusty as I said in my Fat Fit Fun video. Last thing we have is from Beauty Bakery, huge fan of Beauty Bakery. Um, the first thing I got from them was actually a palette, their um, banana pudding palette uh, in one of my fab, my first Fat Fit Fun, I believe. This is the blending eggs. I believe these are little beauty blenders and it comes in an egg carton and it's so precious, highly inconvenient for storing, but like, I mean, look at that packaging, so cute. Oh my God, I love it. I love it. Look at them. They are so cute. Oh, I love this box. I love it. Absolutely a huge fan. I'm a huge fan. So I had, I had several reactions of just sheer excitement and that's a pretty good sign for a box though. Oh, Nicholas, I need you. Okay, first thing we have is our B Beauty London Barbarella eyeshadow palette. This is a $50 value. Definitely would believe that. Don't know the brand, but definitely worth 50 bucks in my opinion. Uh, Glow Recipe Hyaluronic Serum is, it's this one. This one, he is only $42. I actually was expecting a little bit of a higher price tag on him. Uh, the Skin Ink Daily Dose of Glow, which is also a hyaluronic acid serum, is $65. The uh, Eloise Beauty Teardrop Brush is $45. That seems high to me, but I mean, whatever. Uh, mm. Yeah, so here's my problem when they send us things like this. Like, I just would never pay this for it. 
Uh, the Soleil Hair Tool Mini Heat Brush is $150 value. I understand because it's a hair tool. I just wouldn't buy this for 150 bucks. I think the one, the full size one that I have maybe was like 70, so I, I don't know. I don't know. Best deal, the best deal out there. I would buy this full price in a heartbeat. You get six beauty blenders and this adorable little egg carton. Are you kidding me? $18 for the Beauty ba Bakery Blending Egg Beauty Sponges. Um, our Dominique Cosmetics uh, Creamy Fill and Define Lip Liner is $18. And then our Plumping 4 Karat Gold Lip Mask is $42, which gives us a value of $430. Take out the $150 brush. $280, still a great value. Even if you take it, I just like to see sometimes with the overinflated, like something that I'm like, I really would never pay that for it. Um, yeah, great deal. Love this box. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Huge fan. Awesome, I have trash everywhere. Can you take my trash? All right, moving along now. Let's look and see what mom got in her base box. She did warn me there's an extra product in there um, because she got a sign up bonus. So yes, I don't know. She didn't tell me what that was. I probably can guess. Yeah, I can guess what it is. It's this because I got this last month. Um, it's the Violet Boss uh, All of You Forever palette, precious little palette. So far, initial inspection of her box, I'm liking it. I'm kind of, I'm a little bit jealous of some of the stuff that she got. So yeah, so this was her sign-in bonus. Uh, great palette, so cute, love it. Uh, I still haven't used mine, so I guess I can't really say great palette. Great looking palette. I guess I won't know until I actually try it. Uh, eventually, videos will come. I have two BoxyCharm Luxe boxes filled with palettes that I've bought in the past like six months that I haven't filmed reviews of yet, so that I'm going to at some point. Um, but I'm just a disaster of a human. So I was just proud that I actually filmed the tutorial today. So let's, you know, baby steps, baby steps. All right. First thing we have that she actually got in her box is this Mauvin, Mauvin, Maven? I think it's Mauvin Beauty Rose Water Setting Spray. Uh, I don't like the smell of rose water. I'm gonna sniff it to see. I'm just not a big fan. This one's not bad. Oh, this one's way better actually. Okay. I could, I could vibe with this one. Um, I love setting sprays. I don't know that she really uses them. Um, so I'm a little wrong, a little bit jealous, but yeah, cute products. Uh, great, good size. Um, yeah, over, it's like just under three and a half fluid ounces. So yeah, definitely a good size. Uh, next thing we have is a KAB lip oil. Not a big fan of lip oils. This doesn't do it for me. Just being honest, it's not meh. I don't like the textures of them. Yeah, I can already, it looks, it looks gooey. It looks sticky. I just, I just, why I don't like, like lip oils. I don't know. Maybe it's a great product. I'm not trying to hate on it. It's just like, I think like some people are like, oh, I don't like this food because of the texture of it. I don't have that problem, but I do have it with like certain products and lip oils is one of them. I don't, I think I have like traumatic memories of like wearing like, you know, like those really crappy 99 cent like lip smacker, lip oil type things. Like the, you, there's a tube and you like squeeze it and, and then my hair gets stuck in it. And that, the feeling of my hair stuck in my lip gloss. I hate it. The memory of it, it makes me upset. So yeah, that was an extreme reaction to a product that's not even mine. But anyway, I was just explaining to you why I don't like them. So you understand where I'm coming from psychologically doesn't make it better, but I just wanted to explain. Um, all right, next thing we have is Billion Dollar Brow, which I like that brand a lot. We've seen a couple different um, products from them. I think an Ipsy was the last time I, I got like a little set from them. But this is a clear brow gel, good size. A lot of brow gels are really tiny. This is almost like the size of a mascara. Um, definitely something that I could get a use out of and I, I'm sure my mom will probably wind up using it as well. So uh, yeah. Next thing she got, I don't know if this is really her color scheme. I personally love this palette. I have this palette, um, which means if I had gotten this base box, it would have been a little bit upsetting because I like already have it. Not that it's not their fault. I'm a mess. I have a lot of makeup, uh, but this is the Lime Crime Venus 3 palette. Uh, I lie. I think she'll be able to use this. Um, yeah really pretty colors. Uh, the purple is not really her, but like most of the other ones are pretty neutral. She might be able to use the purple as like a liner or like an underliner or something like that. So yeah, but that's a great palette. One of my favorites from Lime Crime. It was just on sale for 21 Days of Beauty and obviously I didn't buy it because I already own it, but I thought about buying some of the other, their other palettes and I didn't. All right, next thing, final thing in her box, we have another product from Glow Recipe, which of course we had a different product in our, uh, Lux that we just saw. Oh my God, their packaging is precious. I want this, it's so cute. So this is the Glow Recipe Banana Souffle Moisture Cream. 
Uh, love it. Love, I love it. I just, am, I'm a big fan of skincare right now. Honestly, at this point, Ipsy, Boxy Charm, Fab Fit Fun, any of them could throw skincare at me and I'm gonna be like, yes, I just wanna try it. Cause I wanna find like what I really like, products I really like. And I'm also very cheap. So if I can get it, if I can get like a $65 moisturizer in a beauty box that I pay $25 for, then I'm not gonna complain. So this is a soothing lightweight daily moisturizer that resets, replenishes, and seals with a boost of elastic hydration for all skin types. Used to daily moisturize. Yeah. Cute little box. I, I do think my mom is gonna like BoxyCharm. I told her for a really long time that she would like BoxyCharm because I like BoxyCharm more than Ipsy. I always have. There's a little, there's a couple, couple months stint about a year ago that I was getting a little disgruntled with Boxy, but I think they really have kind of revamped and changed. Uh, gotten back to what I loved about them in the first place. I do worry now that they're, um, you know, in the same company that we're gonna see it dissolve a little bit in terms of like the, the high quality that I see. And I know that not everybody feels this way. A lot of people comment and they're like, I do not like BoxyCharm. I'm always disappointed with BoxyCharm. That is fine. It is everybody's opinion that, you know, what some things that work for me may not work for you, but I love BoxyCharm, so. Nikki! It's time to do the price check. It's time to do the price check. I need your calculator, Nikki, get your ass in here. Thank you. For, oh, I put all our products away, but I like to hold them off, so. First thing we have is the Glow Recipe Banana Souffle Moisture Cream. It is a $38 value. We have the Mauvin Beauty 20, uh, uh, I don't know what just happened there. Uh, Mauvin Beauty Rose Water Setting Spray for $22. The Hydrating Lip Oil from KAB Cosmetics is $20. The Billion Dollar Brow Clear Brow Gel is $18. And then our Lime Crime Venus 3 Eyeshadow Palette is $38, which gives us a total of $136. So honestly, kind of a lower priced box. Um, not one of the most expensive that we've seen, um, but still I think it's a good box. Uh, yeah, I think she's, well, she's already looked at it. I think she was happy with it. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, we'll figure out how exactly the boxy, it's not gonna be boxy charm versus boxy charm because it's a little bit different. It's gonna be more of just like a comparison of like, do we get the same option? Do we get different options? Like, how does it work? Is there like, cause they, you know, they've added their customization feature in it. So is it gonna be a little bit more specified than what it used to be? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And other than that, I hope you guys are all safe, healthy, you have a wonderful day, and you stay girly with the dark twist.